Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the R4 card <coughs> excuse me, for the Nintendo DS and DS Lite system. Um, the first thing you'll need uh, for this is a memory card. Um, now, if you've got the SDHC version of this card, it will support up to 32 gig. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the 2 gig memory card. The next thing you'll need to do is actually go to the website that's on the box. Um, it's normally at the bottom. Um, probably can't see it very well, but the link will be in the video description. Um, it's actually www.r4sdhc.com. Uh, once you've gone to the website, it should look a little bit like this. Uh, if it is in Japanese, just click at the top of the page that says English, and there we go, it'll come up in English. And then once you've done that, click on Downloads, and again, it will take you to a download page. Now you'll need to scroll down just a touch to where it says Kernel Downloads, which is here, and then choose your relevant. Uh, language in my case it will be English so if I click on English it will then open up another window and you simply scroll down again a little bit so it says download address and there's all different languages You've got English Spanish French Japanese and Korean and a list of different locations when you can download from so just match up with the language you've got and then download the file um, I've already got it so I don't need to do that process Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is get your memory card and your reader. Then place the memory card in the reader. So, and then plug it in. Okay. Okay, yeah, if you don't get this little box that pops up, uh, simply go to my computer or computer and browse to the removable drive that you've just plugged in uh, and then open it and find the folder you downloaded from the previous website. It will probably download in a RAR file, uh, so you can go to uh, WinRAR and download that and then just open that. As you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, files, so three files and two folders. Now you need to drag these over to the root of the SD card. So you just simply highlight them and then drag them over to the root, like so. They would then extract and copy over. Right, once that's done, uh, once you've found any Nintendo DS games or ROMs uh, you would like to play, um, you can either create a game folder and then simply browse the game folder once you put the R4 on, uh, or you can just drag the game straight to the root, which is what I do just to show you that it does work. Um, so I've got a couple of ROMs already. I've got a Super Mario here. Which I'm going to copy over, and I've also got Mario Kart. Which copy over. And once that's done, and you've loaded up all the games you want, uh, you simply remove the SD card. Which I'll do. Just take it out like that. Bring it to your R4. Now on the back of the R4, uh, you can see there's a little diagram. Uh, but what you want to do is, if, if you turn the R4 over, you want to put the card in so the writing is facing you. So it's a bit difficult with one hand, that's it. See, and that's gone in there just fine. And then you put the R4 in as you would a normal game. And then, open up, switch it on. Now if you've done it correctly, it should go straight to a loading screen like that, and hopefully load up, and you see you've got a calendar at the top here, and you have three boxes at the bottom, the main one you want is game, which is this one here, 
As you can see, there's Mario Kart and Super Mario. You just choose whichever one you wish and start it. Uh, you'll get this box to confirm to create a save file, so just OK to that. And that will then go ahead and create a save file for the game. And once it's done that, it will actually start. I'll just show you that it does work, so it's adventure. Let me see. Let's see, it does work. Um, okay, well, if you've got any questions or comments uh, about this video, um, just put them in the usual place. I'll be happy to answer as many as I can. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. And look out for my other setting up videos, which will be coming soon. Okay, cheers. Bye.